think that the uh, new therapies that we have now approved over the last four years in particularly have made a very valuable impact on patients. In particularly POP inhibitors that are very effective in patients that have certain genomic mutations. Those patients are particularly patients with BRCA1 and 2 mutations or patients that have certain genomic changes in the tumor that makes this tumor particularly sensitive to POP inhibition. POP inhibitors are all drugs we do like to give them after completion of chemotherapy for recurrent ovarian cancer. And we do now have several drugs approved. We use this a fair amount in uh, our clinical practice. Uh, these drugs are fairly new, so we still have to learn who the patients are that most benefit from these type of drugs, how to deal with the side effects, and how to use them most effectively. A lot of these drugs have not quite entered the first-line treatment, but there are clinical trials going on that actually might show us that they are effective early on in the treatment process. We've also used a uh, fair amount of immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a very young field in uh, particularly gynecologic oncology, but in general, we still need to understand who the patients are that benefit the most from immunotherapy. A number of immune checkpoint inhibitors have been approved for other solid uh, tumors. We do need biomarkers to select those patients that uh, can receive immunotherapy for our gynecologic malignancies, but we do use uh, immunotherapy, I uh, would think, quite a bit in those patients that have no other treatment options. Immunotherapy is not without side effects, so I uh, would say we need to be still careful about what patients to treat, and again, who are the patients that benefit the most from these new approaches.